What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a one year update on the EG4 solar hybrid heat pump. Pretty hard to believe I've had this thing for one year already, but I did install it at the end of last February and we are a couple days into March. So it's been one year. I'm gonna give you the rundown on this thing, what I think about it after one year, kind of my electrical costs, how much solar we used, how much grid power we used, and how much gas we saved over the years. So stick around to the end of the video. I'll tell you if these things are worth buying or not. As uh, most of you know, if you're familiar with this channel, you probably know what my answer is going to be already, but stick around for that. We'll have a look outside at the unit, see how things are holding up at the one year mark, and we'll go from there. Okay, so here's the outdoor unit, as most of you are familiar with. Um, as you can see, we have a little bit of sun fading on the EG4 sticker. Nothing that we wouldn't expect, but overall, everything looks about the same as it did a year ago. I've got a tiny little bit of rust right here on the handle, but the rating plate's holding up okay. Everything still looks pretty good. And as most of you know, the unit has been working flawlessly for the first year. So no complaints out here. Do have a little bit of sun damage on the insulation here that's to be expected as well there is a uv protective cover for that as you see here but i didn't wrap it right to the valves so everything out here is doing pretty good the line set is otherwise concealed in the cover over here so i'll take you back inside give you a quick breakdown of the numbers as far as gas electricity and solar Okay guys, so as far as electrical costs go, for the year we used a total of 1177 kilowatt hours of power. Now 398 of those kilowatt hours came from solar or about one third. Uh, so that's pretty good considering I run this thing overnight and the winter days are very short as far as solar goes. So to make a third of our power for free from solar, I think is pretty good. That leaves us with a total of 779 kilowatt hours we pulled from grid and with our average cost of about 12 cents per kilowatt hour that's a 93 dollar bill for a full 365 days so i think that's pretty impressive this thing is super efficient as most of you know this is a one ton or 12,000 btu so that's pretty good as far as electrical cost i did pull some of that from battery back in the summer and fall when i had really good solar i had excess power i was running this thing on battery through the night so that's actually gonna even lower the electrical cost for the year, but for the sake of the video and making things complicated, I'm gonna call it $93. Okay, so next I want to talk about how much money we saved on gas. Now, some of you have seen my gas furnace before. This is a fairly new 96% efficient ream furnace. It's a great furnace. It doesn't cost that much to use, but one of the main reasons I wanted the solar heat pump was because our local gas utility was bought by a major corporation and they jacked the prices up through the roof. I'm just not super happy paying that much money to them. So I wanted to put something in that not only gave me a backup heat source, but was a little more efficient as far as gas. So for the year, um, we saved about $225 on gas. So last year we used a total of 863 cubic meters for what I would call the winter months. This year we used a total of 516 cubic meters for the winter months. So um, not being right down to the cent and dollar here, but crunching the numbers, it looks like we saved around $220 to $225 on natural gas, which is great. Um, you know, it's not going to pay itself off in the first year, but it's a pretty decent savings for the first 365. And just keep in mind, November and December are estimated numbers on those charts. That's why January is so low. They finally read the meter and you'd have to sort of call those an average, but the final numbers are still the same. So like I said, down in the furnace room, it's not going to pay itself off in the first year, unless of course you go ahead and start a YouTube channel completely dedicated to EG4 solar hybrid heat pumps. So for the first year, my solar hybrid heat pump playlist got a total of 281,900 views, which is pretty amazing for my first year doing YouTube. Now, if you take an average RPM or revenue per thousand of $6.50, YouTube paid me around $1,826 for those views. So it's been a really awesome year, uh, definitely a learning experience. I just want to thank each and every one of you for watching and subscribing to the videos. I've made a lot of great relationships with uh, people from the community, Signature Solar, other brands, stuff like that. So for 2024, I do have another heat pump coming in. Uh, it is a solar hybrid heat pump sold out of Canada. It's going to be interesting to compare the two. I think I'm going to install that one in the basement because having this on the main floor is great, but the basement does sort of get neglected as far as temperature and comfort goes when the furnace is not running. So I'm going to be installing that down there. As long as things work out, we're still in talks. That should be coming around May or June. So definitely keep an eye out for that. 
So to wrap up the video and answer the big question, would I still recommend the EG4 solar hybrid heat pump after one year of ownership? And obviously the answer is yes, 100%. I absolutely recommend this to people on the internet, people I know in real life. I have a couple friends looking at getting one now as a result of seeing mine. Looks like the supervisor wants to get out here. Um, they just work great. They do their own thing. The switch over is automatic between grid and solar. You really don't have to think about it too much. Although I do think about it a lot because I love this thing. It works perfect. So, um, the people I've met in the community online say great things about them. I've really not heard of anybody having any major problems and anyone that did gets it warranty replaced pretty quickly through signature solar. They've been great about handling these things as the, uh, the popularity for these is just booming right now. So they are back in stock. I believe they were on back order for a long time. So if you're looking at getting one i have a discount code and a link below definitely check it out i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope your ownership experience has been as smooth as mine i uh yeah once again thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one